Hey guys, exciting video today. The postman's just been and we're going to be doing an unboxing, first impressions review of the DLX kit um, for the Rupes Nano Hybrid uh, long neck machine. So we'll get the box open and have a look what's included. So as I say, this is the um, DLX kit, so um, comes in a very nice case. I think you can buy the tool on its own. I'm not sure why you'd want to. Um, but yeah, this is how it comes. I've just purchased this from Clean Your Car. I think the short neck version is just under £500. The long neck version is just over £500. Um, so if we open the box... Um, as you can probably see, we've got a nice card at the back there telling us everything that's included. Um, we've got the Rupes microfiber polishing cloths, four of those that are included, so uh, they'll come in handy. Can never have enough cloths. We've got the tool itself, which is kind of bigger than I was expecting, actually. Um, so as I say, this is the long neck version. A short neck version is available. The reason I bought this is from just reading what other people had said online. You get a bit more versatility with this tool. You can get in um, spaces that are a little bit tighter, perhaps a little bit longer, the barrels of wheels. The main difference being this is kind of a two-handed tool because of the longer neck. The short, short neck tool you can sort of use uh, with one hand. Feels very good quality though, I have to say. It's, um, yeah, so you've got the trigger here. Your start stop trigger you've got the speed here um the bottom where the battery goes and then obviously um where we'll put the backing plates on the top so i guess the reason i bought this tool is um i guess it's kind of a jack of all trades really you, you can do lots of edge work so typically with a bigger machine polisher you won't be able to get right up to the edges of panels, whereas with this, you can go all around the edges. You can do wheels, spot cleaning, mirror caps, headlights, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, feels like a, a quality item. So, what else have we got included? We've got um, a caution sticker. Uh, just to say, don't push the... Um, there's a button on the back of the head, which is for uh, releasing the backing plates, I believe. So, just obviously, you don't want to be pressing that while the tool's in use. We've got the charger for the batteries. Um, two batteries are included with the kit. Um, so here they are. Now, the nice thing with the batteries is, um, I'm going to test this out, but according to Rupes, they've each got 30 minutes runtime uh, and they only take 20 minutes to charge. So in theory, as long as you're good with your charging, you should never run out of battery. This machine can be used corded as well, I believe. So you've got multiple options there. But yeah, like I say, you shouldn't run out of battery. Um, I guess we've got a protective cap over the end. Battery just slots into the bottom of the machine. Like that. Uh, and that's, that's... Obviously, it was a little bit top-heavy without the battery in, but that feels like a really well-balanced machine now. Um, we've got an extension bar, which I guess was for going into even deeper... Uh, crevices so then if we take the top layer of, of foam off we've got the mandatory stickers which will be uh, getting put somewhere the manual which is about a bazillion pages long uh, more <laughs> manuals about a bazillion pages long uh, more manual We've then got the starter pack for the um, sticky sanding discs. So if you were going to do any wet sanding, you get some, some discs included. Uh, I'm probably not brave enough to have a go with wet sanding with this machine, although I might. Um, so they may come in helpful. We've got the... So this is... In, if, you, if you wanted to use this as a corded machine, this goes into the bottom of the... Um, machine rather than a battery so it's got quite a long cord on it so you'd replace the battery with that plug it into the wall and then you've you basically got a corded machine the power delivery is the same with the battery or with the the plug so you're not getting a power advantage in terms of raw performance by having this in it's just obviously if you've not charged the batteries 
We've then got the power cable for the charger itself. Um, we've got um, we've got the fine Rupes uh, ceramic uh, gloss, and we've got the Zephyr gloss, which is the coarse compound. Now, if you're into sort of the whole Rupes ecosystem, you'll know that these two products have kind of now been replaced with DA fine and DA coarse. Um, I couldn't find the nano kit that came with the newer compounds, so I've got these two. I'll use these and then I'll start using the DA course and the DA fine instead. But um, yeah, two nice little bottles. We've then got the yellow fine pads. Um, I can't remember which size these are, although I'll remember in a minute. Um, so they're the fine pads that are included. You've then got the coarse foam pads that go on the machine. We've got we've then got the smaller fine pads and the smaller coarse pads. Six of those included. We've got a um, brush that um, can be used for sort of leather, softer bristles. Um, light stain removal, that kind of thing. And then we've got a slightly stiffer brush, which again, I guess, could be used for spot interior cleaning, um, could be used for stain removal, that kind of thing. And then we've got a little pouch. And in here, we should have different adapters. So... If you know about this tool already, you know that this tool can be used as rotary or as a random orbital machine. So included in the kit, you've got the rotary attachment. So if you screw this onto here, whoops. If I could get my fingers to work, you'd screw that onto the machine. And then what you would then do is you'd add your, it's not the right uh, attachment. You would add your back in place of uh, plate of choice um, before adding the pad onto the machine. And then you've got yourself a rotary polisher. That's the most common way from what I've read of using the machine in rotary mode. Um, you've then got, in the kit, um, various different backing plates. Um, you've got the backing plate for the sanding discs. You've got two different size plates for the foam pads. You've got the tool that's been made intentionally small for um, tightening up the backing plates onto the machine. That's so you don't over torque them and put unnecessary stress on the machine. So it's nice and small. You've then got a large throw and a small throw attachment. So you've got a small, I think it's three millimeter throw, random orbital attachment, really only useful for, so one of the common mistakes I've read online is that people are trying to use that for polishing and it doesn't give you um, a lot of cut. So that's really only very good for uh, wet sanding and stuff like that. You've then got the 12 millimeter throw attachment um, if you want to use this in random, random orbital mode. So the two most co common attachments, most popular attachments are to use this either in rotary mode, if you want a lot of uh, control and precision, and obviously the 12 millimeter throw attachment. The random orbital attachment can only be used, this is intentionally by Rupes, with the smaller backing plate and the smaller, I think they're 40 millimeter pads and the others are 70. Um, that's so that you don't put unnecessary stress on the machine, um, which is why you've got this sort of protective shroud here, which will only accept the smaller plate. Um, so that, it, as I say, you don't put unnecessary stress on the machine. Um, they're the most two common attachments you're gonna use, rotary or the 12 millimeter throw. The thing with the rotary is, if, if you think about this in scale, in terms of the size of the pad uh, and the amount of pressure you're gonna be putting on the machine, people are scared of using rotary machines, but as long as you're careful, and obviously there's always risk involved, but you're unlikely to do damage with a machine of this size. So 
when you're using the machine, in terms of the pressure that you want to be applying, you want enough pressure on the machine so that the pad is sort of 50% compressed. So you don't want to be putting so much pressure down that the pad's completely squashed. You also don't want to be using so little pressure um, that obviously it's not going to be doing anything. You want a sort of 50% compression, which is exactly what Rupes will tell you as well, on the pad in terms of when, you, when you're putting it down on the paint. So I guess... I'm going to do a future review video in terms of how I get on with the machine. I know this video has probably been a little bit all over the place. I'm still learning about everything that's included myself. But um, would I say it was good value? I guess it's difficult to say yet. It's obviously an expensive investment. But if you think about all of the times that this will come in useful, I guess it will be one of those tools where you think, how did you ever live without it? Um, as with all Rupes machines, this feels like a quality piece of equipment, to be honest. And it's nice that it comes with a box to put everything away again. So um, time will tell if I'll recommend one. I'm going to do a later video on using the machine. Um, I'll do a little bit more, more reading on the different pads and the attachments and things. But um, I guess there aren't that many UK review videos of this machine out there, surprisingly. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what's included in the box. As I say, the i can't get over how big the machine is actually for some reason i was expecting it to be smaller but it it's a nice weighty item although not too heavy to hold in one hand and um yeah it feels like a absolutely quality piece of kit so if anybody's got any questions about this machine or anything let me know um the first time we're going to test it is going to be on the new vehicle the m2 um you could probably you might not be able to see in the camera um without the torch that there are some really bad swirls in the paint, but certainly the, the Nano is going to come in useful for the wheels, the mirrors, um, the intricate work around the, uh, the front bumper. So yeah, look out for that video coming. If you've liked this video, please do subscribe. It really helps. And if you can like the video, that would be great. But uh, thanks for watching.